Hey guys, it's Elsie, and the show name correctly, then it's Elise. So, I had already started recording this video, ran out of memory space, and it just stopped, so that's great. Let's start over. So, this is part two, and I posted it today, so it'll probably go up today, which will be tomorrow from today, the day after the first part. Wow. That was a lot. <laughs> um... Yeah, so, the reason why I joined YouTube, I joined YouTube to help people, because YouTube has helped me with my anxiety, coping, like, all of the issues that I've had with people, or not with people, but like, just like with life, um, normally, like, I'll go to YouTube, you know, like, there'll be like an ASMR video on there that can like, calm me down and help me sleep, or there will be like a, um, just a funny video, or a bunch of funny videos, because there's a lot on YouTube, and it's really nice to, oh my gosh, and it's really nice to, um, you know, just sort of take me out of my element, kind of, you know, and just push everything else away, um, and I really wanted to help people, and, um, and I really like singing, and I just, you know, I want to help people, and I want to make people feel better, and I want to be a distraction for people. Because I'm very distracting. Ooh! <laughs> um. How I feel right now? That's a question. Um, right now I'm not doing so great. I've been yelled at a lot today. Because I'm, uh, human garbage. Yay. But... I don't know. I'm not the best right now. Oh, so cute. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm not super great, but that's fine. It's all good. Okay, something I really, really want. Mental stability. <laughs> um, I don't know. I would really, really like to draw or to like be able to draw. You know what I mean? Because I'm not good at it. I can do it somewhat, but I'm ouch. But I mean, like, I'm not like these people that all of a sudden, like, a minute later and they've got, like, a full, like, full-ass sketch going on. And I'm like, how did you, how did you do that? That was magical? How did you do that exactly? But yeah, I'm not like that. And I wish I was. But I'm not. Yay. Um. So yeah. Okay. My current relationship status, I am dating a boy, man-child, lizard man, I almost just said lizard boy, that's an argument that we have a lot because one of my friends gave us the nickname garbage boy and lizard man because I was wearing his hat one day, as you do when you have a boyfriend and you just kind of actually put it on my head, I didn't take it, but um, I was like, I put it to the side like a little bit and stuff and I would like tilted it and she was like, no, stop it. You look like a garbage boy. And I was like, yes. And, she, and she's just kind of over here like, oh God, garbage boy and lizard man over here fighting crime. And I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> and, um, he's over here like, I'm younger than you, so I'm garbage boy. And I was like, you can't be, or he's like, I'm younger than you, so I'm lizard, lizard boy. And I'm like, you can't be lizard boy because that makes me garbage man. And that's an occupation. No, I cannot be garbage man. Oh, yes, these are our nicknames. Uh, lizard boy and garbage man. Isn't that a... Shh, 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 shh. I'm garbage man. Isn't that good? <laughs> um... But yeah, yes, we've been dating for about a month now, a little bit over a month, and it's going really good, and I'm really happy, so, yeah, um, the meaning behind my URL, well, on here, that would mean, like, YouTube name, okay, so my name is Elise, and my middle name is Olivia, and my last name is really difficult for people to pronounce, or remember how to spell but Olivia is really common, and it's just, it seems more elegant and more nice and more not, why does her last name look like an extinct animal? Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. My favorite movie. Z had the S in parentheses. Oh, jeez. This is the hardest question for me ever. Ever. Okay. Um, I really like Disney movies. Like, all Disney movies are really great. Um, I really like Taken. Taken was actually my favorite movie for a while. Because it's so good. But then I watched it a lot and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> um... I also really like kid movies a lot, like, just all children's movies are 10 out of 10 for me. Um, my favorite horror movie is uh, Orphan, which is also one of the three horror movies that I've ever seen. Well, four, I guess, because I guess Chucky would be a horror movie. I didn't watch that all the way through, but, like, I watched... Scary movies I've seen have been Orphan, and that one was my favorite. Silence of the Lambs, which is definitely my least favorite. Um, the one where he runs through the thing with an axe, The Shining, and Bride of Chucky. That one wasn't that bad, honestly. But yeah, yeah, Orphan was really, really good for me because it was like profiling, kind of, because all of a sudden there's that thing at the end and it's like, whoa, that happened. Um, and then... I really like, man, I don't know, um, okay, number seven, number seven, okay, this one's good, my favorite songs, my favorite songs are, this is gonna be a lot of top, okay, so I really like Goner from 21 Pilots, um, I really like Guns for Hands, um, I really like, um, uh, oh my god, Lane Boy, um, I really like I Told You So, which is Carrie Underwood, and I think that that was a cover of a Randy Travis song, I believe. Um, I really like Rose Colored Boy, which is a new Paramore song. Um, I really like, um, No Friend from Paramore. Oh my god, it's so different. I love it because it's completely different than, like, the stuff that Paramore puts out. Because it's not sung by Haley, um, but it's so good. It's so powerful, even though you can barely hear the words. I just, I love it. I don't know. Um, and Heathens. Heathens was my favorite song for a while, um, which is another Tony Pilot song. Shocker. Um... <laughs> Uh, and then I really like, um, and then, um, oh my gosh, Before He Cheats by Carrie Underwood, because that is me and Olivia's song, 10 out of 10. It's really funny because, like, yeah, it's just, it's great. It's a great song. Yeah. Um, okay, my favorite bands. My favorite band of all time, and I can finally answer this, is 21 Pilots. Um... And Paramore. And Melina is going to kill me because cause I've only really just gotten into their newest album, After Laughter. But it's a good time and it's a band. I don't know. Um, and then I really like um, Hawk. Um, something Hawk. It's a Christian band, but they're really good. And then... Uh, and then the band that did the the movie God's Not Dead on God's Not Dead 2. If they're my favorite, I should really know the name. Wow, yeah. That would be smart, wouldn't it? Mm. Okay, good job. Wow, okay, these are going fast. Oh, here we go. <laughs> 19. Three things that upset me. <clears throat> Alright, so we've already kind of covered this on my four turnoffs. Uh, because I just wanted to deflect the questions. Because, um, yeah. That's just awkward. Three things that make me really, really, really upset. Okay, these are three things that I will actually turn around, even if I don't know you, and fight you. 
will actually. Number one top thing that will piss me right off is the use of the R word. If I hear this, I will turn around and I will kind of snap. I'll be like, you really shouldn't say that. And I have pissed so many of my friends and like my family friends off with this, but I'm just like, you really shouldn't say that. And they're like, why not? Come on. They used to, you know, like, you know, like it's just a word. Like I was just saying it like about something, not like to someone. And I was like, I don't care. And I've gotten in so many fights about this. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I explain it better in my part one video, but I was so upset. Um, so upset because I almost had, or I didn't almost have Down syndrome, but like they thought that I had Down syndrome when my mom was pregnant and they were like, um, would you like to terminate the pregnancy? And my mom, you know, of course, wanting to have a baby and trying for so long was like, uh, no, no, I would not like to terminate the pregnancy. Um, but you know, if I would have had Down syndrome, I wouldn't be able to fight out against this um, so easily because I wouldn't be able to eloquate words or, did I say that right? I don't know. But I wouldn't, <laughs> maybe I'm not so good with words as I thought, but um, I wouldn't be able to produce the words and fight for this thing that disabled people have been fighting against for so long. And that's the thing that makes me upset well, along with the fact that people still use it, is that they've asked us to stop using this word so many times, so many times, yet we won't listen. And that is what is very annoying, is that they've tried so hard, but, you know, in the end, if you really care about something, you have to step up and you have to be like, no, you need to stop doing this, this is bullcrap and other words that I can't say. Um, oh my god, that was the first one. Okay, um, gay rights. So even before I was, even before I was bi, but like even before I kind of knew that I was bisexual, I was very, very for gay rights. Very for. Like to the point where, um, oh this is a fun story, okay. Okay, so we were sitting, my mom and my mom's boyfriend and I were sitting, um, in the mall in one of the, I would say bigger, yeah, 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 bigger cities um, in Iowa because we have a mall but it's not that big. So we went to the bigger mall and stuff and it was prom night down there. And um, so we were down there and, um, you know, we're seeing all these couples come in and stuff, you know, and the groups and they're probably going to like the Cheesecake Factory or like, you know, they're, they're in the mall, you know, like getting food and stuff. And all of a sudden I see this group and we're sitting down, you know, and we're eating and stuff. And I see this group and in this group, there's a girl in a dress and there's a girl behind her in a tux carrying her train. And I was so moved. I just started crying. I just like lost it. I was just like, that's so beautiful. That's so cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. And I just started crying just like right there, just like into my food. All the crying was happening. It was so cute. And and yeah, yeah it was just so cute. And I see stuff like that. And like even thinking about it, it's still like, uh, it was so cute. And yeah, yeah. So I'm very, very for gay rights, obviously, being being a gay. Being a gay, no. <laughs> but, you know, um, I believe that everybody deserves equal rights. Everyone deserves equal rights, not just some rights, equal to everyone else. Um, because we do. We're all people. We all have weird things, but you know what? Let us be happy. Unless we're actually hurting someone else, or unless anybody is actually hurting someone else, just let us be happy. Jeez. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, 
And then the third thing that really upsets me is, um, what is, the, oh, when, um, when, like, older people will yell at our generation because we're lazy. We're not lazy. We're just trying really hard, and we have to get through this country that you made this screwed up. We're trying to get through as best we can, and we're trying so hard. But you know what's difficult? Trying to make it through this country and this life because you've screwed up the economy and the deficit, and you raised us, so I don't know why you're complaining. Oh my god. Yeah, or just politics in general. It's not that I'm upset by politics, but... When somebody doesn't know politics and then they're trying to come over here and like the freaking confederate flag crap. I live in Iowa. So I do not enjoy when people are like, why are they taking it? Or like when, because we have hicks at our school, you know, everybody has hicks. But like, you know, uh, we have a row of pickup trucks and a lot of them have American flags on them. Well, a few days. Um... Some of them had confederate flags on them, and then this one kid in my class was just bitching about the fact that he had to take down his stupid confederate flag, and he was like, it's my heritage, and I turned around and I was like, you live in Iowa. What do you mean it's your heritage? Did you, did you grow up in the south, um, during the civil war? Did you? No? Okay. And they were like, well, still, I mean, it's part of our nation's history. And I was like, ah, it is. But, I mean, you don't see Germany people, like, carrying around the Nazi flag, do you? Yeah, because that was bad and they were enslaving people. Were they? Were they really enslaving people? Oh my god, what do you think we were doing? Well, they were fighting for states' rights. States' rights to have slaves! <clears throat> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, calming down now. Yes, the Confederate flag is something that ticks me off to no end because, boy, it is not. Just sit down and stop it. And lastly, three things that make me happy. Um, cute relationships, just any relationship. Um, when... Um, when, like, somebody starts off a story or, like, is telling me something and then, like, starts off by saying, like, you know, like, I have never told anybody this, you know, like, you're the only person that knows this, you know, like, I just, I get all happy inside because I'm like, oh, you trust me enough to tell me this, that's really cute. Um, and what else makes me really happy? Oh, yeah, 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 when somebody will send me something and be like, oh, I was, I saw this and I thought of you, and I'm like, aw, you think of me? That's so cute, like, I mean something to people, that's awesome, like, yeah, just, like, when I remind people of stuff, or, like, yeah, it's just sweet, I like it, <laughs> okay, <laughs> wow, that was, like, complete 180, <laughs> okay, you guys, um, I will talk to you guys later. This has been part two. There will be a part three and a part four and a part five. And I don't know. I'll keep doing it if you guys like them. So I love you so much. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.